Attention, Elastigirl has not been nerfed. Oh my Lanta, what is up? This is crazy. <laughs> Look, there's a couple other skins here too. All right, Frozone's very nice, okay? Uh, Mr. Incredible, bulky but cool. Oh my llama. Why do they call her Miss Incredible though? Why don't they call her Elastigirl? <laughs> Why? She has a name. What's going on? Quantum Camper here. We're going to do a deep dive into the Fortnite item shop today. We're going to go over the Incredibles and why this is, I mean, they didn't nerf her. I thought, I thought they, they would. Honestly, I really, I really did. Uh, all joking aside, okay, I want to talk about today why the release of these skins is a very good sign of what's to come for Fortnite and the Disney takeover that's eventually going to happen. That is, an, that is happening. This is kind of phase one, all right? Um, the, and things are looking good, okay? So we're going to get into that. There's there's a couple really cool things in the shop today. Um, not a lot of news. I got some gameplay of Miss Incredible Elastigirl. They're gonna show you. All right, and we're gonna go some over some of your highlights. You guys sent me some cool clips, so we're gonna go over those. Uh, before we jump in, before we do a deep dive, before we get in depth. All right, uh, we got to do two things. All right, that's right. We got to check out. We got to do the OCD check. All right. Camera on display capture on. We're recording, baby. You know how we do it. We do it raw and uncut. One more time. One more time. Recording display capture. I'm, I'm not kidding. I, I'm, I'm low key paranoid. Okay. This is a one man band. It's just me and you, baby. That's all we need. Uh, the other thing I uh, have to do is ask you for a favor. Whoa. Hold on. Chill. Last girl's freaking out right now. Rip. The other thing I have to do is ask you for a favor. And uh, it's not money. I'm not going to ask you for a cringy uh, subscription that you have to pay for to sign up for. Uh, the thing that I'm going to ask for, from you is actually free for you to do. And it's to use my supported creator code. Helps me out a lot. This is the free way that you can support me. In fact, this is the only way that I ever ask anyone to support me. Um, use my supported creator code. It's Quantum Camper. Okay, look for the supported creator. She's got it. She's just, she's acting up already. Uh, look for the supported creator button. You can do this on console, PC, the browser version of the item shop, doesn't matter. Hit the button, supported creator, put my code in, quantum camper, all one word, Q-U-A-N-T-U-M-C-A-M-P-E-R. Doesn't matter if it's caps or not. Hit the search button, look for the green check mark, you're done. That's it. Cancel the back out. Do me a favor, though. Oh, here's... Oh, that one's fun, actually, dude. Sheesh. Frozone stunt. Um, do me a favor. Every fortnight, which is 14 days, the uh, supported creator code resets automatically. So if you don't see it in there, do me a favor. Just uh, punch it in one more time, and you're good to go. That's it. Every 14 days, you got to put it in again. So yeah, just, just make sure it's there. All right, let's get into this. The Incredible Skins. It's actually weird... I wouldn't say weird, but it's like out of pocket for Fortnite to do what they did. They just like directly were like, hey, these are going to be in the shop today. Um, They didn't show them. They didn't. Uh, and if you think about it, see, they just said, uh, where are those super suits? They're dropping in the shop tonight. Everyone knows the the font and the, the eye and everything. Um. So they just literally just drop this and uh, everyone's like, oh, okay. Incredibles are going to be here. They didn't give any of the big, um, you know, content creators the skins ahead of time. They just were, you know, it was kind of rumored and leaked. I think that they were going to come in a uh, upcoming shop. But yeah, they just dropped this teaser this morning and we're like, hey. They're going to be in the shop today. And then here they were. Uh, 
so yeah, it was kind of unorthodox uh, the, the way that they kind of teased it, but that's fine. I mean, I think that they're just like, yeah, it's, it's the freaking Incredibles. Everyone's going to buy these skins. We don't really need, you know what I mean? We don't have to give them away for free to any of the content creators. Um, so let's talk about this though. How do they look? All right. I only bought Elastigirl. I think I will eventually get the bond. I think I will. I, I think because there's something else in the shop that I, I think I want to get. Uh, and I'm going to show it to you in a little bit. Here's the thing. Obviously, Elastigirl is phenomenal. I mean, whether you're a fan of the skins or not, whether you're a fan of the movie, I don't know how you can't not be a fan of the movie. I'm not even like a Disney head. Okay. I like the movies, but I'm not like, let's go to Disneyland. I'm not a Disney adult, as they say, which I know is triggering for actual Disney adults to hear that phrase. Um, my bad. However, you do have to admit, regard, let's just say you don't like the movie. You don't care about Pixar. Okay. You have to admit that they captured the likeness perfectly. Okay. I mean, everything about the design of the skins, the proportions of the skins, everything is 10 out of 10 okay i mean just look at facially her her fa facial expression everything the suit looks amazing proportions pretty good not gonna lie okay no one's complaining about that uh frozone i believe will eventually be a sweat skin he's got the skinny frame this is this is a really cool skin. I, I you know I really want Frozone too. I saw him, I saw him in game and I'm like, dang, I gotta get him. Uh, so you just you know, they capture the likeness perfectly. They look so good. The detail looks good. Like look at the facial hair and everything. Like, um, and that's why I said this is a very good sign of things to come. They didn't nerf the proportions. They captured the likeness perfectly, okay? They did a really good job, all right? And even, like, the traversal remote, that's super dope. 500 for that? Sick. Frozone stunt? This is a good one, too. It's rad. I mean, and then uh, with Frozone, you get the back bling, that is also the uh, pickaxe. So, just so you know. I mean, it's it's rad, dude. Um, the bundle. Let's see how much it is. Two th uh, no, 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 no. 3,500. 3,500 for, uh, for the entire bundle. I think that's, uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. If you think about it. That is like eleven seventy. Okay, it's just over. <laughs> I, you know me, dude. Math at this hour, please. Um, it's just over eleven hundred per skin with back bling and pickaxe. That's good. Okay. What skin in the shop are you like? If you, let's just say, you know, you see a skin you really like for eleven. It's let's just say twelve hundred. 1200 for a pickaxe back bling skin that's good plus two plus emote come on now uh i think i'm gonna eventually i think i will when are they here tell 10 7 you got time okay you got over a week so just imagine if they did such a if they did this good of a job with the pixar with the pixar skins that means that you know, moving forward, they set the bar super high. Okay. So any Disney skins coming out are going to be fire. Okay. So I just got actually really excited to see the uh, Disney villains. The Disney villains coming out are going to be sick. All right. So I think this is a really good sign that they're staying true to the characters. The design is, is flawless. Everything. 10 out of 10. Um, I think they knocked it out of the park. And so I'm actually, you know, pretty excited about the future of Disney and Fortnite. 
Um, now that being said, this is Pixar, so it's not necessarily you know all the way Disney, um, but it's in the family, you know. So I think it's. Uh, I got excited when I saw these. Let me let me know what you think. What do you think? Even if you're not a fan, you have to admit, right? They did a really good job. I don't know how you can not be a fan, but uh, this movie's amazing. I actually, I, I've never seen the second one, but I heard good things. So, who's picking those up? Let me know. I mean, you at least got to get Elastigirl. Come on. Come on now. Uh, Ruby is still in the shop. Very, very dope skin. Wilson, one of the best back blings ever and this is the cool thing about alaska girl is like it's it's a like minimalistic um design so like so many different uh back blinks are gonna are gonna look good on it on her um so yeah i mean i i but i mean that being said wilson is just wilson's a star he's so cool uh he's gonna look good on pretty much everything even if the color doesn't really match up it's uh it's still going to look good. Don't worry about it. So uh, Ariana Grande is here. Um, what do you think? I, uh, I I still, every time I use her, I, st I just still can't bring myself to use any other version except this. And this, uh, I love this emote. It's so fun. <laughs> I feel like that would look good on with uh, Deadpool too. <laughs> Super fun. So yeah, we got Ariana Grande. When when is she here till? Nine twenty nine. You got two days, dude. Lots. Of, okay, I tell you what. Lots of people picking up the X Force outfits. Okay, Domino, absolute fire. Lover. Psylocke, sick. This is, I use Psylocke a lot when I first got her. Okay, Cable also very very dope design giant skin though keep that in mind uh he is cool though very very dope so you know i never got the uh i never got the pickaxes oh you know what wayne sent me uh wayne did get this i may okay here's the thing this is a very very dope uh wrap but it's very similar to uh to the ninja turtles one let me show you so i feel like because i have the ninja turtles one i'm good the ninja turtles one is a little more animated i think it's called toxic uh there it is see it's like more neon green but it's i mean i guess the other one is usable on way more skins you almost have to have like fun quote-unquote fun skins to use this on i don't know I, I i use i i use this like pretty frequently actually because i just love the look and that's basically ooze in there you know um so i i think that that looks pretty similar to the uh x insignia one see this is more laid back. You could use this, you know, yeah. Both cool, but I think I'm I think I'm gonna pass just because I have the Ninja Turtles one. Let me what do, what do you think about that logic? Um moving on. Oh no. Wow, dude. We just blew it. You know what? I mean, I wanna hear the freaking songs when I'm playing. You know, I forgot to turn them off because I did a I did a round. You know what? Let's sh let's look at that a little. Uh, let's look at a little gameplay here that I recorded. I don't, it, nothing, no no crazy highlights. I did one match, totally freaking blew it at the end. Um, I ran out of mats, and I, and this guy had high ground, and he had the freaking um, hit the dang Iron Man boots. All I had was the Sheery claws for movement. So I was just kind of fighting for my life there. Um, that being said, I'll just show you some kind of basic. So this is not going to be. Oh, the beginning though. Okay. At the beginning, this is a cool moment. All right. And I'm telling you, don't sleep. Don't sleep on the. Uh, 
Don't sleep on the flare gun. Watch this, dude. I'm dropping it. I'm like so scared I was gonna die on oh, as soon as I dropped. Look, I'm already getting shot. Uh, you can hear me now. And I'm like, all I have is a flare gun and a dream. <laughs> Look, dude, it does 60 damage. Boom. Look at that. Later, bro. Sheesh. And then shout out prospering. That's the prospering emote right there. Looks great on Elastigirl. So I, I had to sh I had to show this. That was uh, the dopest part of that entire match, actually. Um, yeah, she just looks good, dude. I'm telling you, she's super clean in game. Uh, it just feels good. All the animations on every emote that I tried her with uh, looks super good. Uh, I, I'm just beyond happy with uh, with my purchase here. I think, and I, I really think you will too. If you're a fan of The Incredibles, this is just like, this is just such a no-brainer. Um, and it's just one of those, it's one of those skins that just makes the game more fun for me. Um, you know, like there's some skins where I'm like, okay, this is cool. You know, this, this is, I like this skin. This is good. But like, the, there's some that just kind of like enhance the the fun factor uh for me and this is this does it this absolutely does it this guy oh yeah he, he had the gauntlets and he had the the freaking iron man like i i stood i had no chance dude and i that was me i accidentally did that oops and so i'm just trying to like get i'm like okay what do i do what do i do um I mean, this isn't even, like, yeah, this isn't even highlights. I, I dropped the ball. There's, uh, and I, I mean, I'm trying to get over there to take high ground. I eventually do get high ground. But, I mean, I don't even want to show you, dude. It's just embarrassing. See? He's flying, he's flying. What am I supposed to do here, bro? I'm trying to, I'm, I'm holding on for dear life. There it is. I'm, like, crying. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I just want to show you a little bit of gameplay. Some people are tagging me. Let's, uh, let's see what everyone's saying. Oh, shout out cold zone. Finally got Felina. Where are you guys on Felina? All right. I'll tell you what, where am I at? I'm level 26, dude. I just got the pickaxe yesterday. Okay. I've had like two hours a, a night to play. I thought I was just going to crush it. Turns out I only have like two hours a night to play, okay? Uh, this entire week. So I haven't been able to grind as much as I wanted to. Shout out Cold Zone. I finally got it. Duck Butter sent this. This is a... Re okay, when I saw this, the do the do this is Domino's uh, back bling. Is literally perfect on Frozone. That's wild, dude. Th seeing this made me want to get it. So I'm I'm going to have I might I think I'm going to have to re up and get it. Honestly. Uh shout out duck butter sending me that. Uh Gucci flip flop instant buy amazing skin big time. Oh yeah. Mingan got a dang battle royale victory with Frozone. Look at that. So sick. This is what I'm talking about guys. Follow me on uh, Twitter. I want to see your dubs you get tag me when you use my code okay we're having conversations youtube is my priority all right i try to answer literally almost every uh comment on there but if i had to pick a number two twitter's number two dude because we can send each other and i try to keep everything public i don't do a lot of messaging i'll message like uh luffy dead nightmare uh snazzy blocks a couple pe trusty people but most of it is like public so you can send you can tag me in your posts uh you can tag me in your w's when you use my code i love seeing that so yeah follow me on twitter dude um jasper bought, so okay let's talk about this jasper bought the um marigold pack which you do have to buy for cold hard cash but you get 1500 v bucks back so they're like dude just picked up marigold going to grind this out because it's quest packs going to grind this out to get the V bucks for 
Miss Incredible. I'm like, perfect. That's the way to do it, dude. So you're getting two skins for the price of one. Or you could just hold on to those V-Bucks and it's free. See what I'm saying? That's when I, when I ever say, when I, whenever I say that those packs are f basically free, you're getting the V-Bucks back for the amount that you're spending on it. You know what I mean? So if it's $13.99 and you get 1,500 V-Bucks back, you're making your money back in V-Bucks. You know you're going to re-up anyway. Might as well get that. You know what I mean? Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, yeah. So Duck Butter got the got the uh, victory at 8.53 p.m. Eastern time. So potentially, you know, in the, I wouldn't say the first, definitely not the first, maybe the first recorded, you know. Um, but I would say realistically, first 100. Honestly, Duck Butter, shout out Duck Butter. Um, oh yeah, dude. And Mingan sent me this dope. Um, they had a, oh, I can't play the audio. Uh, but yeah, they like edited together. This is crazy, dude. This is the first time anyone's like sent me an edit of them, uh, using my code, picking up these six skins. Shout out Mingan. Added some cool little trees in their name. Um, them picking everything up, going through like, you know the outfit that's what i like to do i'm like okay what you know what back bling do i want to use because i don't necessarily like i will say okay if i had to be critical look at that they freaking and they and they put use code quantum camper at the end i love this shout out man it boom um yeah so we're getting a lot of uh a lot of shout outs a lot of love using the uh using the code um so yeah, follow me on um, on Twitter. And I said, uh, Fortnite has given us a second cake on their birthday week. <laughs> I had to do it. Um, okay, so I will. The one critic, the one thing I will be critical about is like I'm not. There's nothing bad. There's nothing wrong with this pickaxe i'm just not like crazy about it you know what i mean that's why i was like oh i could i could live without that now the omni claw i actually really do like and i get it i i i haven't seen any, any anything really i haven't seen anyone else say anything about this claw but i guarantee you some people are like the claw is too big it's almost as big as her body and i'm like it i love small frame skins and big dumb pickaxes okay so I, that's just my preference obviously you know if you're trying to get sweaty you're trying to be you know low visibility on on the map this is not for you but i like it so i do i would say i do like this pickaxe this one the other one i'm not crazy about and then you know obviously this makes sense this one um oh yeah and you can do reactivity on reactivity off so I, I i would say like you know not crazy about the drill it's not making me like oh and then i mean the pickaxe or, or i mean the back bling again i can i can tell you right now i'm never gonna use this literally never um, it looks cool. Okay. I do like that. It's got the Incredibles, Incredibles, um, logo on there. I mean, it's very detailed and it's spinning, but the sparks. So I have, I don't like, um, like this, this would, this back bling would honestly, uh, distract me. The sparks. She's distracting enough. Okay. Chill. <laughs> Uh, I would never use that backlink, honestly. And the the match I played with her, I didn't use it. This is cool. But again, the sparks, no bueno. Uh, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't use those. Like, I, I guarantee I'll never use it. I, I, I mean, I kind of like her without the backlink. I'm going to try a couple different things. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll, I'll try. I'll try the drill, you know, one match, see how it goes. 
Um, but yeah, if, if there, the back blings, I'm not crazy about. And then the drill bit destroyer, also not crazy about. But Omniclaw, I'm about. So that's the one thing if I had to get critical about it. That's what I would say. What do you think? Um, but that's just me. That's like... You might see that see that backlink, and you know, there's there's, you know, I know some of you out there who watch this are just like we have, that, and that's what I like about this community, is that there's people that watch every every episode here, comment all the time. We have great you know friendship, great everything camaraderie, and we have like complete opposite tastes and skins, and that's cool. You know what I mean? We can coexist. We don't have to like the exact same type of skins. Uh, there's I, there's people who just, I guarantee you, like completely dislike my favorite skins. And that's okay. Um, as long as you're not, you know, judging anyone. People, I have been judged. They're like, you're going you're gonna to pick Meowtooth over Iron Spider? Nah, Why? It's like, bro, it's it's my locker. It's my money. It's my decision. Okay. I get to run whatever skin I want. I get to buy whatever I want. I don't have anything against Iron Spider. I will eventually get him. I just, I was showing skin restraint. And I really wanted Meowtooth. And I do not regret that decision. I love Meowtooth. I like Iron Spider too. But I was like, the reason I didn't get Iron Spider was, was like, oh, I know there's going to be a new Iron Man design out. So I'll just wait for that. And then I want the Spider-Man 2099 or the other one, the other item shop Spider-Man. So that's what's up, dude. We don't have to, you know, like the same things. That's just crazy. Um, yeah, so we got this whole page of emotes. These are all really cool. These dropped yesterday. We got some good ones here, dude. Uh, oh, I, I ended up picking up uh, Wind Up. How sick is this? Oh yeah, there we go. This is a really good, fun, and this looks good on everyone, dude. Let's, let's watch this, everyone. Uh, because we were talking about Meowtooth. Let's see how it looks like with Meowtooth. Check this out. Oh, look at those, look at his eyes. Okay. Okay. Get it. Get it, boy. All right. One more. Uh, Raven Team Leader. What's it like with uh, RTL here? Oh. Okay. Okay. Looking good. I'm telling you, everyone looks good with this. This is a must-have. 500 for wind-up. Get it. All right, we got to go back to... Uh... Okay, I, I will say, people are complaining. Shocker, I know. Uh, about the name. That it's Miss Incredible and not Elastigirl. I see the I see the I see the complaint. I see it. I hear it. I would have liked Elastigirl as well, but is what it is. I don't know. I mean, you know, you could say that's an amazing skin. I don't know. I, what's complaining gonna do? Just enjoy the skin. You and I can call her Elastigirl. But Fortnite can call her Miss Incredible. It's fine, dude. It's okay. Um, you know what? I, you know, some some people, oh, I can't remember who it was, but they told me that they got uh, the employee. So I'm telling you, these, uh, these skins that come back frequently, there's always somebody who's either a new player or they didn't have money at the time or they had to get something, they wanted to get something else. And then finally on the, the fourth or fifth time, that the skin comes back they're like they're able to get it so i never complain when i see skins even when i saw the weekend for the 92nd time somebody still said oh yeah i actually was able to finally get the skin and then someone was like oh yeah i i didn't want the skin but i really liked the emote so i finally was able to get that perfect 
on the ninety second time. I I think I got him on the ninetieth time, and I was I was playing all throughout his his season, and I've seen I've literally seen him in the shop every time he's been there, and I'm still like cool. Somebody finally gets to get him. Uh, Iron Man MK forty five. I don't care what anyone says. I like that the instruments are getting included. Okay. And the fact that they get put in the bundles makes them way more cheaper and affordable. Um, I'm not, I wouldn't call myself like a Fortnite festival head. I don't play every day, but I get the passes. I enjoy it. I like it. I play it at least a few times a week. And I don't buy the instruments except for the orb drums that I did buy, which are so, so clean. I'm very happy I did, but I like, getting a new bass or a guitar every once in a while, you know? So I don't, I don't flip out. Uh, this is the freaking, this is the, um, not multiverse. This is the metaverse, bro. Look, it's, it's here to stay. It's not going, it's not like they're going to like six months from now be like, okay, well we tried it. Yeah. We're just going to go back to, uh, OG, uh, Fortnite for the rest of eternity. Cause that's what like a handful of you want. No, the metaverse is here to stay. You got to get used to it, honestly. Um, Wolverine, Deadpool, Mary Jane. Oh, I feel like Mary Jane's leaving pretty soon. So if you've been eyeing her. Oh, no, 10-4. That's right. There, she's in here for a while. So the Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Man Zero, Mary Jane. Bro, I got it. I got to I got to start showing skin restraint just on the basis of like, I need to like to spend time with the skins I already have. You know what I mean? I mean, I also want to save money. But like, I haven't used... I did. I used Rubius a, a fair amount. I love Rubius. Um, I, I'm trying to think of the other ones I got. But yeah, like, I mean, I feel like I haven't used Mary Jane enough. I, I definitely haven't used Spider-Man enough. I think I used them only for like two or three matches. Um, so yeah. But I mean, obviously, I have to get Elastigirl. You're crazy if you think I'm going to pass on that. Um, so, yeah, I think I, I really got to just just for playability, I got to start using my other skins. I, I, I miss them, you know? <laughs> Is that weird? Is that weird? Do you ever feel like a longing for one of your skins where you're like, dang, I got to miss them, you know? I got I to gotta bust them out again. It's been a while. I wonder how they're doing. <laughs> uh kuno og kuno here for a few more days okay so and here's a new style oh, the escape artist bundle is here a couple more days they were taken away but now they're back um i had an idea that i wanted to collect all of the the cat themed um stuff in the item shop and I've seen this skin before and I really like it. I've almost gotten it like three times, I think. This look at this red version. Sick. Um, I like this pattern. This whatever that pattern is. So yeah, so what's cool? Okay. And this is a perfect this is a perfect skin because um it has four variants plus hood down, hood up. Okay. You can't take the goggles off, which but you know what at least you can do hood down that's all i'm saying uh so technically this is a cat a cat assassin when was vix last in the shop let's check it out uh here we go 39 times 102 days ago 102, 110, 128, 100, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've I've seen Vix a few times. First came out chapter two, season two. This is a great skin. Uh, I really like the red one. Super cool. But I also like the black version. I think I feel like I would run this. Because I have some cool purple um cosmetics that would go with this. And then uh oh, got a Lego confirmed. Very cool. And then the back bling. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get this. I almost feel like I gotta I gotta re up. I really like the design on the back bling. That's really cool. Oh, it's got the blade. <sighs> <laughs> I 
as I was just saying, I need to stop buying skins uh, to spend time with my other skins. I've never seen this emote before. Backstroke. Here we go. Fortnite original. Okay. When do you think it was first available? Let's check it out. Backstroke. What do you think? What do you think? OG or what? 89 days ago. Oh, this is a, this is an OG. Season 7. Ooh, I like this Christmas outfit. That's nice. Who's that little elf? You know what? Fortnite.gg, I know you follow me on Twitter. So I think you might watch these videos. Often, when and I love your site, okay? Everything about it. I constantly tell people to go to it. However... This is what we need. The model skin that you use in the emotes and backbling. I would like to know, like, I would like to know who, you know what I mean? Somehow maybe put the name there. I don't know how you would do it. I would like that. Because sometimes I see the model of the skin you use for like the emote and I'm like, ah, oh, dude, who is this? I want to know who this is. Let's look it up. Elf. Let's just put elf in. I don't have any Christmas stuff, dude. This is a problem. All right. Oh, this is creepy, bro. What? Ew, dude. No. I. No. We're not doing this. Munchy Mayhem. I've seen this skin before. Why does he look nasty in the freaking loading art? Yeah, I've seen Gumbo before for sure. Um. Oh, this is a really good back bling. Or. Uh, oh, no, no, no. That's a glider. Oh, that's so fun. Why does he look so nasty, dude? The skin does not look like this. He looks all... This is like a horror show, dude. This little guy? This this guy turns into that? No thanks, bro. Um, Yeah, so we got to figure out who the elf girl is. Let me know in the comments who elf girl is. Oh, look at this. The fish cracker. Dang, dude. You know, we're getting ahead of ourselves because we can't even think about Christmas until the freaking spooky season's over okay we got spooky season coming up how fun is that uh princess felicity fish this is a fun one is this fish sticks girl i don't know uh i really like the back bling. last time this was available uh i wanted to get it for the back bling. it's very very nice sika 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 Okay, here we go. Mask on, mask off. That's exactly what we need, dude. Uh, pretty dope. When was Sika last year? What do you think? This this gives me Chapter 5, Season 2 vibes. 96 days ago. So, yeah, it was definitely available for Chapter 2, Season 5. Um, okay, let's talk about this. And I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna try not to uh, get into the darkness here. I the darkness kind of consumed me a little bit on the last episode when I was talking about that Midas loading art. I know. Um, and I'm gonna try not to let it consume me right now. I like the design of this skin. Okay. However. what <laughs> the illustrated version I, I i'll say this i'll say this about the illustrated version okay they have gotten so good with cell shading and the animated illustrated skins since chapter two season four that's what we're gonna say we're gonna leave it at that they've gotten very good at it since since chapter two season four that being said i like the outfit but i don't know man let's look at the guy this color scheme too is like i mean it's he's it's like weird dude huh yeah, okay, we gotta. We're, the darkness is poking me right now. <laughs> we're moving on. Uh, Courageous Era Bundle. Pick it up if you'd like. 
Uh, dummy. Not calling you that. Talking about the skin. The carbon fiber one is so sick, dude. I'm telling you. I love it. Uh, here till 928. We got one day. T-Bows. Very good. Very good. I like it. Uh, Jam Tracks. I tried Tox. Toxic is actually really fun. Um, I recommend Toxic. The uh, Fighter, Christina Aguilera, was also good. Uh, sexy Back, good, but very repetitive. And I was kind of like, so there are some fun parts in it. Um, but I was like, okay, all right, this again? You know what I mean? So kind of a little repetitive. I, I, I like, I, I like, I would do. I want to play Toxic again. Uh, I want to play Fighter again. But Sexy Back, I'm like, I'm not itching to play it again. But yeah, try them out though, especially if you're, you know, if you were young in the early 2000s. Those, uh, those songs were bopping, bussing, popping, fire back then. Uh, that's about it, dude. I don't even think that. So we got the uh, Fortnite Crew skin. I think. We usually get access, I think, the day before. Um, so that'll be cool. So yeah, I know a lot of you are picking up the crew skin. Um, pick that up, dude. You need it. That's about it, dude. Look, what? I mean, I don't. We'll check. Hype X. Um, okay, let's 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 go over a couple things. I want to do. I want to go live tomorrow. I got to figure out how to. Um, I got, I got to dumb down my graphics a little bit. And here's what I'm thinking. Um, we, yeah, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no real news. Uh, Skeletor rumored, but I looked into it and it was kind of like a baseless rumor. So take it with a grain of salt. Okay. Skeletor coming, Skeletor coming soon, possibly with He-Man as well. Um, I looked into it and it just was like, Hey, bro, my inside guy told me that he's coming. So trust me. And he's the guy who I guess told him about something else that came true. So take it with a grain of salt. These rumors are just rumors. All right. Um. So, yeah, going live tomorrow, probably around seven. OK, we'll go live no matter what. Seven o'clock. Uh, so basically the shop reset happens at five Pacific time. Uh, and then. You know, I need about like an hour and a half to uh, record it, upload it, and all that stuff. So, about seven, seven fifteen, seven thirty at the latest. We'll be going live, dude. Um, I can't add everyone. I can't let everyone go live with me. Okay. So I need to be selective about who I go live with. All right. Uh, it has to be trusted people only. Okay. It has to people be, I can't just be picking randos. Okay. So anyone who played last time is cool. It's good to go. All right. Uh, there's a couple other people I want to get in there. Like sped monk was saying they want to get in there. Um, so we'll get them, uh, a couple other names just so you know, uh, you know, when, I can't have there there can't be any cussing. You can't be saying any like obviously you can't say any slurs. That goes without saying. But like we gotta keep it like PG basically. All right. I get it. And maybe an F or an S drops every once in a while, but you gotta like I gotta make sure you're not gonna like try to that's why I say trusted people only. You've been commenting for months. You've been a part of the community for months. I know who you are. Then I'm like, cool. You get it. You're down. Because if you're a random person, you could be just, you know, get on the air and then all of a sudden just say a bunch of nasty stuff. And I'm like, I can't have that. All right. So a lot of people have been asking. They want to play. I can't have everyone. It's got to be trusted people only. And that doesn't mean that eventually you can. Yes, you can get there. All right. You got to put your time in, bro. Um, plushy as well. I want to get some games in with plushy. Amazing, amazing photographer. We showed him, showed them, uh, off yesterday. Uh, so also if I add you on Epic, 
okay? If we become friends on Epic, you cannot send me invites to play, all right? Because I, I'm, if you, even if you see me online, waiting in the lobby, chilling, I'm most likely recording. I can't have that, that, that thing pop up. I understand that that is the culture of Fortnite, but because I record videos, I can't have you send me stuff. I will have to delete you. So do not send me requests to play. Um, you can send me a message. You can send me a comment and say, hey, bro, I see you're on. You want to play? Um, that way you can... That's a way you can communicate with me, but just sending me a, a like a raw invite to play, I can't do that. I will, I will unfortunately have to delete you. Um, that's just how it is. I, I can't like it. Just, it just um like kind of just ruins the mood for me, or it just kind of gets in the way. Like if I'm talk, you know, if I'm talking like this, like imagine if I was doing the the uh, shop review, and all of a sudden. Bring! some someone wants to play a game and then sometimes and then like i'll decline it and they'll send it like five times i'm like i have to delete you. I, I can't i can't be doing you can't be doing this um so yeah so if i do add you do me a favor don't send me invites to play uh just because it's i'm always recording if you see me if you see me logged on i'm, re I'm most likely recording like 90 percent of the time i rarely play the game without like recording in fact never the only time i don't re record is if i'm like playing festival or lego i don't really make content for for either of those um so yeah i want to um i want to i want to meet up in this map though okay let me show you oh wait i'll have to go to my favorites um and this is going to be a 30 this is a 32 person free for all so Zephyrus right here. Boom. Oh my God. <laughs> He's using the freaking skin <laughs> that I just, I didn't talk crap about. I just said that they've gotten better at, <laughs> they've gotten better at the cell shading. Um, That's so funny, dude. Because this is a new Ed, Ed Meyer. Shout out Ed Meyer amazing amazing artist and creator of maps uh this is like a new thumbnail he just added it's so funny so so this is a 32 free 32 person free for all okay so i i mean i think I, i'll just i mean we can like because if i if we do a public game if we're all on the same uh server i mean will we jump into the same game I'm thinking, like, I, I really need somebody to answer that for me because I don't know. Uh, or or do we do, like, a private... So can I get 32 people in my lobby here to play this? Or can I only do four? I really don't know how... I never play with anyone. Like, I've played... So that's like, like when I went live last time, I was asking, like, how to split my... Because I wanted to give somebody half of my uh, small... I want to give him like half my mats. I was like, dude, I don't even know how to split. So, cause I, ne I almost never play uh, squads. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, so if we play pub, if I, I just do public and I tell you what server I'm on and we all jump into the game, will 32 of us be on the same, in the same game? Or do we have to do a private one? And then I add 32 people. Somebody let me know. You have to come on. Come on, help me out. Help us out. Regardless, we'll figure it out. Uh, we'll be live, baby. We'll probably go live for like four or five hours for sh for sure. Um, so yeah, mark that, mark that in your calendars. Um, but yeah, I don't. So I don't want you to get bummed out. Uh, you know, if you do want to play, don't take it personally. Um, you know, I'm gonna get a bunch of you in there. Uh, and I, I'm thinking like the the fair way to do it when we do when we do squads is like um you know we'll rotate we'll rotate people out you know maybe give everyone like two games uh and then we'll rotate everyone out but i kind of like i mean i don't know but, but here's the thing here's the problem i want to get as many people in as possible but then like when you get a group of like f people that just like mix well then it's like i kind of don't want it to stop you know what i mean 
Like it's almost and and don't worry about you don't have to talk a lot. You know what I mean? In fact, I would prefer it like as long as there's like one other person who's kind of chatty. I'd I'd prefer you like not to be chatty because it, it, the the what you don't want is like four people all trying to talk over each other. It's actually more advantageous if it's like one or two other chatty people and then somebody in there. But uh, you know, just giving obviously say game stuff. You know, like oh over here, you know whatever. Um, but yeah, that's the rundown for about what's going on for Saturday, tomorrow. It's gonna be fun, dude. It's gonna be sick. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to start going live at least once a week. Um, I'm I'm making an effort, honestly, to like not be, not to play solo constantly, not to you know to because I I want to like play games with you guys and like, um. But I mean, just just being honest, like I'm such, uh, and I and I'm not saying this in a negative way about myself or or anyone who's like this. But dude, I'm just like a, I'm just a straight up loner. Like that's what I prefer. When I used to drink, all I wanted to do was be around people. But I had like codependency, major codependency issues, and I wanted to be around people, and I wanted to make everyone else happy. And I couldn't have a good time unless everyone around me was having a good time. That's called codependency. <laughs> like, I mean, it's good to help people and it's good to make sure those around of you around you are happy as well. But like when it's like detrimental and you, it's you're like, oh, I can't, you know, like if I was at a party and my girlfriend or my friends or whatever weren't having a good time, like I, you know what I mean? Um, and I always wanted to be around people. And turns out I'm not a people person. I just drank a lot. <laughs> and then when I got sober, I was like, okay, I just want to stay home now. You know what I mean? But then I went the complete opposite and for like a year straight, just pretty much stayed home. And then I also, that was not good. Everyone needs people. You need people. You need a healthy balance of being around others and being by yourself. So when I'm not drinking, I naturally gravitate towards being alone constantly, you know, but you need people around you sometimes to check, to, to check you, you know, and be like, Hey dude, what's going on? It's kind of weird. That's kind of lame. Why are you thinking like that? And then, and then if, if you're not bouncing ideas off of people and you don't have a community, then you just start running with your crazy ideas. Oh, well, you know, the, this is how this works. And then it's like, well, you get into the real world and, and you have real other conversations and you, you know, meet people. You're like, Oh, okay. That stupid idea that I, the way I thought this thing was is completely inaccurate. So it's a, it's a, you gotta have a, that's what I'm saying is that I, that I am trying to make a conscious effort to, to interact with other people. But at my core, and I think and I think part of fighting the darkness is being with other people. Like you it's so easy to 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 get into a dark rut uh and to fall into the darkness when you're alone. Uh too much. It's good alone time is good. Uh but friend time is also good too. You need you need both. So uh I have recognized that I'm spending too much time alone and I need to spend some time with you. And we got to hang out and have a good time. So here we are. Saturday, baby. Woo! Tomorrow. That's about it. That's what we got for today's shop. Let me know. What do you think about Miss Incredible? What do you think about Mr. Incredible and the amazing Frozone? Uh, so much good stuff in the shop. One more time, please use supporter creator code Quantum Camper. All one word. Dude, she is just, I'm telling you, she's a rebel. Uh, Quantum Camper, all one word. Q-U-A-N-T-U-M-C-A-M-P-E-R. Hit the search button, boom, green check mark, you're good to go. And drop me a like and subscribe, comment with what you're going to get, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.